for a skillful player like Didac. The way that Collingwood were able to transfer the play at the back time and use yeah. the wing as their as their ally, it, Carlton aren't quick enough to switch on when they lose their footy. They aren't covering the space, and as a result, Carlton uh, Collingwood players are loose everywhere. Yeah. As soon as they break, they're away. They'll be patient too, Collingwood. But on that particular occasion, Luke Ball had the free player out, and once they go, that is great to watch Alan Dido from that angle. Slots it every time. Swatching stoppages through the middle of the ground. Nick Maxwell's man goes up to the stoppage. Maxwell just sifts off back in front of O'Halpin and Henderson. While Carlton let that happen, they'll never take a mark inside their Ford 50. Well, their backs are to the wall now. Cruiser goes up and thumps them down towards half Ford O'Halpin. Murphy, Cruiser follows up. Judd wanted the football. Now he's got it. Judd in trouble. Great tackle. Maxwell forced the error. Wellingham, the beneficiary, gets a hand pass away. McCaffer, Beams, they combine so well, the Magpies. They're on song. Side bottom, on the outer side. Little chip down towards Harford and ball. Good closing speed, Jamison. Gets it out of bounds. Interesting dynamic there, too. There's Michael Malthouse. Have a look at that there. You've got these disposals. Carlton 61 to Collingwood 53, yet they haven't been able to translate that on the scoreboard at all. You're wasting it. He's oblivious to that succession plan at the moment. Jolly knocks it down. Scotland emerges with it. Stripped of the football by Beams. Found it again. Gets a hand pass away. Fumble from Jamison. The pressure is simply too much. Side bottom. Didac across the ball. Can he kick his second as a back time? Yes, he can. Tell you what was really disappointing about that. There was a dubious decision with the uh, the Carlton team thought it was holding the ball. Uh, Scotland with that one there thought that might have been a free kick. Kate Simpson was in the background with his hands in the air. His direct opponent Luke Ball's got on the goal side of him, and uh, that's not good enough. Absolutely not good enough. He's the leader of the team. He needs to stand up. He can't be there umpiring and calling the game. Um, scoreboard really hurts every time. Well, score one for the good guys. Luke Ball, good to see. Is go. it too early to panic? Well, why not beat the rush? Juddy around the boundary line. He's been terrific. Out of the middle. Swan floats it to half forward. Simpson gets back. So the margin is blown out to 38. Wide to Gallup. Unsighted. Then hesitates. McCaffer didn't. Knocks it out of bounds. Real test for the Blues. I think uh, if we just keep an eye on a few of the players and their body language, Chris Judd's off the ground at the moment. I'd love to see him out there and just generating some excitement, some uh, some real structure and some real influence on the game. Jacobs in front. Manhandled by Jolly. Knocked forward by Garlett. Well done. Runs onto the loose ball. 60 metres out from goal. Centering kick. Well read by Reed. The confidence surging now in Collingwood. Goes to the wing and Medhurst has got a couple. Medhurst kicking it down towards half forward. Cloak is outnumbered. Taking a risk. Falls in front. Thomas. Thomas <laughs> back to Cloak. Cloak inside the forward 50. Decides to shoot. It's coming back, but not in time. It's a behind. When you're hot, you're hot. Yeah, and they are hot. And they're hot because they're smashing them at the clearances. 10 to 2 in the centre. And around the ground, 19 to 12. They've got to, at a stoppage be able to start controlling some of them because at the moment Collingwood are just running it out too easily. Henderson out of defence then. Jacobs. Oh that's a good mark. <laughs> he was still swinging on the way down. He's like a big pine tree. <laughs> just stood up and put the branch up. <laughs> Gibbs has got it. Goes back. Now I think the crowd reacting because Gibbs put the ball above his head which is the universal signal for we're not sure but we suspect it's to do exactly what they're doing. What's that? Just taking some clock off. No, I, I just let them know that they're 39 points down. They probably need to move it quick. That's when they're playing their best footy, Ben. Well, if you've got this much of the ball and just doing this, it wouldn't be a bad idea to deflate the ball. It's fantastic footage. You can see how structured the Collingwood side is. And uh, Carlton just aren't going to be able to uh, penetrate here. And if they are, they need to move it quickly. But if you look through... Scotland the, now. The Carlton, the Carlton players just aren't running. I think we're on the right track with that Sinox. Bower towards the outer side. No surprise to the crowd either. No. No. 
Kick down towards half forward from Carazza. Gallup missed it. It's out of bounds. There's just no method with Carlton's ball use then. They sort of just wanted to find a, find a loose target. They didn't really know where it was. I think they needed to sort of set up, actually have a bit of a plan to work their way through a press because all good sides do that. And Collingwood are one of the best when it comes to defending a turn. Wellingham, numbers, Pendlebury, Beams, Swan. Familiar names there, but stolen away by Lucas across to McLean. Carlton with a chance. Houlihan in trouble. Wheels around, gives it to Lucas, goes down towards the pocket. Satanta! Oh, that was a wonderful mark. Turns around, springs to his feet like a meerkat, and goes in and kicks the goal. He has been the shining light up yep. there. Sedano uh, Halpin, he is but he, he got beaten in a one-on-one -on -one contest just before, but that there was not an easy mark. No. That was a really tough mark under enormous pressure. And it just stuck. It, it, and it's a first flow-on effect that Carlton have had going forward without going backwards. But that is a beautiful mark. And he had the awareness to get up <laughs> and go again. He was, as you said, Dennis, a meerkat. A meerkat. A mere bagatelle. <laughs> Satanta with two. Judd is back on the ground. And guess where? In the centre square. Young Lucas getting a few possessions in the build-up there as well. Taken pick 12 in last year's draft. One of two they got for Brendan Favola. Judd immediately in the action. Wellingham taken high. Coming away as Beams. Will they get the quick reply? Side bottom. Steps inside the 50. Oh. And that would have been a real body blow had he kicked that. Carlton thinking they got something at the other end and have it sort of squashed in the space of 30 seconds would have hurt. They need something, Carlton. They, they need to be able to string a couple of goals on together. But their run through this part of the ground has really dried up. Yeah. Don't see much movement at all. Collingwood have got an 18-man defence, and if you don't hit the target, you're going to be you're going to be cut in half. White got it from Judd. And the, the, all the players are peeling out the back to try and get the cheap free kick. They've got to be moving up the ground. That's it, Scott. Near Scotland. That's it, Scott Eddie. Could have go long. There's no other option. Down to Cruiser. Well, the kick favours Reed. Hands to it. Didn't hang on. Should have. Houlihan kicks inside the forward 50. Well, almost. Still my trickle in there. More to the point, O'Brien missed it. Man on in the middle, Yaron. O'Halpin just lobs it to him. Yaron goes in and lobs it through for a goal, his second. Took his frustration out on that. It's your boy, Satantox. It's his day. It's, uh, it's his day. The, even the balls. This is an Irish jig just here. You'll see it. <laughs> this one. Bang. It's Satanta. He, he's in the right spot. But it's a really good look in. He looks yeah. inside. You see him look over the left shoulder. And Yaron, just go back and kick it because you haven't had the best afternoon. Ugh. Go back to business and uh, and uh, your next couple of efforts have got to be spot on. He's been terrific, Satander. I played on him a couple of times towards the end of my career. And what he always did is he had a massive crack. And I've been watching him today. He's got great work rate. He keeps presenting. He keeps having a dip, and no surprise, he ends up getting the ball. He's been really good. Has indeed. Jacobs down the throat of Judd, who sends them long down towards full for a big pack. Here he is again. Satana held without it. We talk about teams having a day. Well, Satana's having a day. No, 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 no. He got that last goal no, no, from a favourable no, no, no. bounce, so the goal he set up for Yaron. One of the most. Sorry, one of them. All right, Ryan. <laughs> he milked it. It, it. it was there, but. He made sure the umpire saw it. Time back on. One of the most damning statistics for the game so far, and it's a way that the Carlton can get back into it. They're averaging 50 disposals per goal. Collingwood a 17, which is just a true reflection of their efficiency. The last two goals, well, this goal, hopefully Sedan to kicks to the one just previously to Yaron. They move the ball more directly, more precisely, and with less possession. That's the key for Carlton to get back into the game. And what about Judd? Back on the ground. Halpin kicks them back into it. First to celebrate the skipper. Well, that's his 14th goal for the season, and I. I